Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a very short makeup tutorial because I'm going somewhere, I'm going to Brogan's house, but I don't have um, anywhere else to go, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, what I look like. So while I'm doing this, it's gonna be just kind of a short makeup, but like I'm gonna put some parts, I'm probably gonna cut some parts out, but I'm gonna um, show y'all how I put my new hair extensions in because somebody asked me. Um, I wasn't gonna film because I'm so sleepy and because I'm home alone and my that I have a new lab because my other one passed away. She got run over, but we got a new one and um, I wasn't gonna film because I'm home alone and then I was like, whatever, it doesn't matter if he's in the background because he is not going to stay in the living room by himself. So I'm not really going to show y'all, I mean, I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm using a lot, but if I do, it's because I just didn't think about it. I'm going to tell y'all about school. So um, we were supposed to go back last Friday but there was like a water leak some type of crap that was going on so um we didn't go but we went back monday so today is friday so it was my first week back and i don't hate going to school because last semester i was so stressed out like my classes were really hard and I don't know like it was just a bunch of 2018 bull crap that's all there is to it I'm just kidding but um no it was just like my classes were hard I had the hardest classes of junior year all in one semester so I just felt like I, I like I had a test every day almost it felt like and i work i mean i'm not complaining that i work because um the my job i saved up money and got this vanity so i'm not complaining about working i've always wanted to work but it's just like when you work i never figured i would be like this but when i when i'm home I don't want to be putting on my makeup, honestly. I want to be, like, relaxing on the couch. I don't know what look I'm going to do today. I did a look using, uh, this was, that was the James Charles palette, but I did a look using the uh, Greek Goddess palette from Manny. And, oh my gosh, I wore it three days in a row, the same look. Like, I redid it. I didn't wear my makeup three days in a row. I redid it. And, oh my gosh, I was obsessed with it because I got my hair basically black, brown, whatever you want to call it. Brogan calls me blackheaded, but it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, now that I got my hair, like, a lot darker, I love dark looks on me. Like, it, it just makes me look, like, goth, and I love that. I'm not going to go in with the James Charles palette because I don't, why not? He, I used to not like him believe it or not but now i love him he's he's amazing i'm not gonna say i didn't like him because that's false i didn't know him or i still don't know him but i was just into three youtubers so i would never give any other any other youtubers a chance honestly i would just like watch five minutes of a video and never watch them again but if you look at the outside of the picture he is Okay, I think he's 18 maybe, maybe 20 or 19, whatever. I don't know. He's young and he is so hard working. He is um, like a great business person. I've been, put, this, when I did this, I'm going to do the same look that I did because I don't care. But when I did this look, the three times I did it besides this one. I was so sloppy with this uh, 
orange. And I think I got it from Robert D. Christie because that's what she does. She's so daggone sloppy with her transition shade. And it makes the colors pop. Like, because you don't know how far you're bringing it up. So, when you just do like this and just close your eyes and go with it. Once you put your lid shade down, you can still see every color you've applied. And it's beautiful. Okay. Now, them are the only shades that I'm using on my... Uh, my eyes except my lid color and I'm only using one shade for that and it is Calliope right there it's like a my hair color and then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of black because why not no no actually I'm gonna go in with Aphrodite that right there And I'm gonna, I'm gonna like define. These are so pigmented, but even when like you tap them off, but even though they're so pigmented, they still blend out like a dream. Oh my gosh. Applying that dark shade and I don't even tap it off. I just go ham. I'm gonna try something new today. I'm scared to death, but I'm gonna try something new. Um, I'm trying something new, but, oh my God. I don't know how they do that. I don't know why, but with stick foundations, I feel like they're going to dry really quick. And not stick, like the ones with the Dofa applicator. This is really pretty. I like the foundation, but it's not the best. I like Tarte Shape Tape the best or the Maybelline. I don't know what else to talk to y'all about. I'm ready for April because I'm going to the beach. Probably, I don't really, it's not for sure yet, but I'm going to the beach probably with Brogan, his mom, and her friend. I want my mom to go with us, but she will not leave. Her. She will not leave her. When we go on, like, our family trip, she goes with us. But hopefully we go this year. We didn't last year. Just a bunch of crap went on with, like, mom having to have surgery on her shoulder. Mom having to have surgery on her shoulder and just a bunch of other junk. If y'all watch Jaclyn Hill, have you noticed that she has, she always has on like, it's Barefoot Dreams, the cardigans. Mm. I am obsessed with those. I love them so much. But they're $100. So, uh, Mm -mm. I'm, I may save to get one. I don't know. But I'm thinking about saving up for Gucci slippers. Because I'm obsessed with them. And nobody will buy them for me because everybody that um, I show them to, they say that they're ugly. So I'm going to save up and get me some. Or a Gucci belt. Or the Gucci uh, sneakers. With the snakes on them. I'm obsessed with those. They're cute. But I don't really wear sneakers. So I don't know. What I'm going to do yet. But. I have something from Chanel. Sunglasses. And then I have a Louis Vuitton purse. So, I need something Gucci now. And then after that, I'm getting something Prada. And then after that, I'm getting something um, Givenchy. So, last Friday, I was at Brogan's house. He was at work. And um, me and my sister and my cousin were going to go bowling. But last minute, she ditched us. Our cousin. I'm just kidding. 
she went, um, she forgot she had to do something. So my sister was like, well, we can just do something. And I was like, okay, but she was just bored. She just wanted to get out of the house, I'm guessing. And she was like, we can do something. So she drove to come get me. And then we went to Florence and I was like, let's go to Longhorn because the reason why I wanted to go to Longhorn was because I absolutely love their appetizer. It's like the shrimp and I don't really like shrimp unless it's like has a dough over it, but theirs is so good. They cook it in like banana peppers and like a bunch of other hot crap and it, I just love it. It's so good and I was just craving it really bad. So I got it. And then after we had chowed down on that, we weren't hungry anymore. Like we weren't really hungry and we were, we're poor. So, um, I was like, I was like, well, we can, I was like, what are we going to eat? We got the cheapest thing on the menu, which was potato soup. And it was so good. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. And I was mad though. Cause Sarah's like, mine was more creamy and Sarah likes hers more creamy. And then I had mine or hers had like a bunch of potatoes and stuff in it. And she likes it more creamy. So, I didn't know that until I was already four. We would have traded. She, we're so awkward, though. When we were there, I like going to restaurants that have rolls because who doesn't? I mean, really? Unless it's like Mexican, then I'm, I'm all for the chips. But anyway, we, he was like... Longhorn doesn't have rolls. They have like wheat bread or something crazy. I'm using this, by the way. They have something crazy. It's like wheat bread or like butter. And it's kind of like Panera bread. They they don't slice it up for you. They just give up, like stab a knife in it and expect you to do it all. Like we're not capable, but anyway. Um, so anyway, back to my story. Um, that dude, Sarah was like, I don't want the bread. And I was like, well, I don't either. That's what we said before we got there. And I was like, okay, well, we're not getting it. That's what I thought. And then uh, the waiter, or the waiter, my bad, he was like, do y'all want any of the bread? And I was like, uh-uh, no, you know? And then five minutes later, Sarah was like, oh my gosh, ask that dude for bread. Wait, I want it. After she just talked about how nasty it was. So then the waiter came back and I got nervous, which is not normal, but I got nervous and I didn't say that we wanted bread. And Sierra, if you know her, you know she's not gonna let anything go. And we already had our food and everything, our appetizers. And she was like, tell them that we want bread. And I was like, okay. So I was like, can you bring us the bread? You know, I mean, not thinking that it might've hurt his feelings. I was like, can you bring us that bread? And he was like, oh yeah. Like it was sad because I think, I think that he thought that we said that we wanted it. And then we were mad that he didn't bring it when I asked him for it again. I, I think that's what it was. And then I felt really bad. That's all that matters. If any of if y'all any have any recommendations on Highlighter, hit me up. Because I want a new Highlighter. I have a whole drawer right there to my left, but can never go wrong with a lot of highlighter. I'm using the Bodyography Lip Pencil in Timber. Hot. And then I have a cover on me to cover up my little baby. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with two lip shades, I think, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with the Leonard Beauty and Zaya. And bow and arrow, Kat Von D. 
I got this out of my box of charm. Got this for Christmas. My mom got me the whole collection. Okay, I need to do darker on the edges. I suck at lipstick. All right, that's what that looks like, bow and arrow. And then I'm gonna go in with Zaya in the middle. I love this applicator. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then I'm gonna put just a tad bit of Celine from Lunar Beauty. I'm my lips because I don't really like, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't really like the feeling of liquid lipsticks. They're, I don't know, they're just a, a little bit drying. A little bit. Um, Morphe Y8. So I'm going in to just dust that powder off. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna put on mascara, which is not important. And then you're gonna see me putting on my hair extensions. Peace. While I'm putting on my mascara, I'm gonna tell y'all something. So when I was in middle school, there was this um, like animal show, whatever. Nobody cared anything really about it, but they brought like snakes and uh, lizards, crap like that. They brought a kangaroo one year and just telling us stuff that we may not know about them, I don't know. And they brought a bat out and they were like, everybody was like, ew, ugly, you know, whatever. And uh, anyway, he was just flying around and then would come back to him, scaring us half to death. And um, he was like, Y'all are all calling it you, but y'all um, this bat's poop is what makes y'all's mascara. Let me say the ingredients. Does any... Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the only tools that you need when you're putting in your extensions and you're only gonna need one in ingredient. You're only gonna need one thing if you do not have thin hair. I did not get these extensions to make my hair longer. They're the same length as my hair. I got them to make my hair thicker. Okay, let's start. So what I'll do first is I part my hair and I'll just put it in a little clip. And the girl that asked me to do this has really thin hair. So you are going to need this right here. I got it from Ulta. It is the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray, Texture Defining Spray. It looks like this. I will put the link to this down below. It is from Ulta. Okay. You're actually gonna need another um, thing when you start doing this, but I don't have one and I'm not getting up. So I'm gonna do it with my hands. <laughs> And it is tease your roots, like your hair close to your roots. So we're gonna do that. Um, I think that I have a pretty small head. I mean, it's kind of normal, I don't know, but like my neck's long, according to a bunch of people that like to talk crap. But you just spray this on your roots like that, little. Not a lot, so it's not wet and annoying. And 
they tell you which the girl that did mine put the fourth one on the bottom but i found that it was very um uncomfortable because it was it was like right here basically on my skin so i put the three one first and the four one on top so this is a three piece looks like this um it's curly a little bit because i curled my hair last night so what you do is you're just going to take it close to the root like this dig it in there and snap it make sure there's like a little bit of hair connected and then snap and there you go you got that in you can pull these it doesn't matter you can lay on them but i wouldn't sleep in them so now i have my curling iron and i got a i didn't i didn't even get a brush i meant to but you're just gonna take however many pieces or however like curls you want and just curl it. This is a clamper or I don't know, I guess you call it that. But I don't use it as a clamper because I don't know how. I use it as a wand. Okay, now I'm gonna take my hair, let it all loose and I'm gonna put it back up after i let a little bit of hair down don't let too much just let a little layer down because if you get too much down you're not going to have enough hair left at the end to um to snap anything else on or you're going to be able to see them and that has a problem i did that i was putting too much hair down and you can see the little clips so don't do that and then Next, I'm going to use a four piece, which looks like this. It is a little bit curled because I curled my hair last night. And then you're just going to do the same step. You're going to kind of, if you don't have the money because you just spent it all on extensions and you can't buy texture spray, get a very like tight hold hairspray and then tease your roots and spray the hairspray on them but it's better to get a texture spray because if you don't it's just gonna like i mean hairspray doesn't last forever this actually lasts like the texture spray does but i'm just snapping them put the two piece like okay it's a four piece so right in the middle there's gonna be two and put those in the very back of your head and then i'm gonna curl this part after that i go ahead and put my single ones in because um i don't put them where normal people do but i have thin hair so if you do have thin hair i would put them in this place i put it right behind my ear and I don't tease this part because it's annoying because it's right beside your ear. So just put them both behind your ear if you have thin hair because the single ones, okay, let me just show you. So the single ones, they look like this. Okay, here's the clamp and then they have like more cloth than the other ones do so what happens is if you you're supposed to put them right here but my hair is very thin right here so once you do this flips up and you can just see the clip and nothing is more embarrassing than people knowing you have fake hair in i'm just kidding i don't really give a crap but i just want it to look more flattering so the reason I do put the same ones up right there is because your ear is hiding it and it doesn't, it doesn't annoy your ear. <laughs> but like more hair in the front. So I love that. And I already curled that. See, it just makes it, and I still have three more to go. So next step, let a little bit of your hair down. Let your head down, hair down. And then tease. 
Okay, so I'm laying in my car on break editing this, and I just want to let you know, don't be stupid like me and use your fingers to tease your hair because it didn't last long, and my extensions were like falling out, kind of like they were tugging on my hair, so use a brush and don't be lazy like me. This was $22, by the way. This is where I'm going to put the, what do I got left? I got three twos. So I'm gonna put this one right here. Last piece, what I'll do is I part my hair. I don't pin it up anymore. I part my hair, see if anything's showing, and if it is. spray on this side is it it all depends on how you want your hair to look this side I like this side to be a little bit flatter than this side because this is my good side so this already has more hair because I part it to this side but I like it to be a lot bigger than this side so what i'm gonna do is if you want more hair on this side so it's like kind of in between like the same whatever then do it on this side on the second piece but what i do on the second piece is i lift a little bit of hair again put it over here and then i take this tease Teasing with your fingers hurt really bad. Like, oh my God, I don't usually do it with my fingers, but. And then spray. And then I'm just gonna clamp that in. And I'm going to do the back first and then take it up to the front. And then I'm going to curl it. Best thing to do when you get done with your extensions, which most people do it already, is um, right here is the easiest part to move on my hair. Like if I'm not constantly parting my hair, it's this right here is going over to here. So I try to get a hairspray that's kind of like, like a hold. And this is the one that I love. It's the Tresme, um, it's the number five and it's the freeze hold and mega firm control. And that right there helps with my hair keeping parted. So what I do is I like take it to the back, especially. So just spray your hair when you get done get this and if you don't want this there is other kinds out there you don't have to get this exact one it's just when my hair stylist did my hair she used this and i'm obsessed with how it smells and it is kind of a more expensive um product for your hair and i don't really care about hair like hair products and stuff like that like i get most of my i get hair, my hairspray I get my leave-in conditioner. I get my shampoo and conditioner from Walmart. I don't care about that because it doesn't matter. It's not gonna do anything to your, all this crap's not gonna do anything to your hair, but this does. It really does work and it makes your hair smell so good and it helps with greasiness. So it's kind of like a dry shampoo and a texture spray all in one. So I will link this down below if you want it and you can go pick it up, order it, whatever you wanna do. Or you can just get something from Walmart because who cares where it's from? I just like the way that smells. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to leave me a comment on any questions. Snapchat me, it's in the description box if you need any questions from me about anything. And always know that I have a busy schedule sometimes and I can't upload as much as I want to, but I'm never gonna quit YouTube. I'm always gonna do it. Even when I'm older and have a real full-time job, I'm still gonna come home and do as much YouTube as I can when I'm not 
swamped. I'm never gonna leave. So don't unsubscribe just because I don't post a video in weeks. Um, my vlog that I'm gonna put up either before or after this, I do say that I'm gonna do a little bit more vlogging because I want memories to look back on. So yeah, I am gonna do a little bit more vlogging than I normally have because I just don't remember to do any of that. But I am gonna try it. And I hope y'all loved this video. I hope it was helpful for the people that was wanting to know or wanting to learn how to put in extensions. And yeah, so I love y'all guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Leave me a comment. Peace.